Yay, hello, and welcome to Tuesday's free coaching live stream. You are in Rebel Healers and Spiritual Entrepreneurs Facebook group. Thank you so much for joining. I know I did a live last week, but I feel like a decade has passed between last week and today. Today, is, as many of you know, is the 22222 portal. There's so much out there about it and about what's going on planetarily. And so much is processing through the collective. I definitely feel like I've been through an entire rebirth experience in the last month. Um, I've had crazy shit happen with starting new bank accounts and having them locked out. I have had massive upheavals in uh, health insurance land, and my entire family has been so sick for the last month on steroids, on antibiotics, uh, which we never do. It's just been crazy. My poor baby is on round three of antibiotics for an ear infection, so thank you so much to all of you who sent well wishes our way. It's been nuts. And the Facebook group for CEO Enchantress opens today and registration closes at midnight tonight. So if you've been thinking about it, if you've been waffling and you're like, I don't know if now's the right time, now is the right time. The next right time is going to be next year. So I really, really, really would love to help you with your business now, sooner rather than later. And, you know, I love, love, love business coaching because. I'm going to help you figure out how to make money in a way that works for you. So the investment for CEO Enchantress is $777. You can make payments as low as $111 a month. So hop in, stop making excuses, pick one of the payment plans. I would say most people who decided to join are on extended payment plans. I have them for a reason. I wanted to make this program super affordable and accessible for people because when I was first starting my business, that's absolutely what I needed. And definitely the only thing I could afford was $111 a month. And then the next step up from there for me was $444 a month for um, one on one marketing coaching with my mentor, Tad Hargrave of Marketing for Hippies. So, all that being said, please join me for CEO Enchantress. If my work has been speaking to you, if you're like, I want some of what she's having. If you want me to coach you through your objections, DM me. If you want me to walk you through the fears or the mind crutter that's coming up to get you, I'm happy to do that. Send me a DM. I do not bite unless requested. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining today. I've made this a few posts and I wanted to do it in a quick video for you as well of literally giving away the farm. Um, if you're joining me, say hi. I'd love to say hi to you. If you're watching the replay, say hi as well. But basically, I really wanted to give you the strategy because when it comes to having a successful online healing business, it's not the strategy that's going to make you money. And I know it seems like it. Oh, does it seem like it? If you could just nail the right strategy, do the right things in the right order, that then you'll make money. Hey, Gloria, thanks for joining. Um, I was searching for the holy grail strategy for so many years. <clears throat> and I remember asking all of my entrepreneur friends, like, would somebody please just tell me what to do? How do you make money? Like, but how do you make money? The real sauce is in the confidence, the mindset work, the consistency, um, creating your unique work in the world. And that's all of what I'm going to help you do in CEO Enchantress. But today, I'm going to give you the strategy for free. So it's a three-part strategy. If you're taking notes, you want to write down three bullet points or the numbers one, two, and three. The first part is... Create something unique and specific that helps your people with a particular problem that they have, right? So whether you're buying a beautiful tea mug, this is from an amazing artist, Kristen. If you're watching this, Kristen, thank you for the mugs. Um, and maybe your problem is I need a heavy quality, yummy feeling 
mug to hold my tea every morning. And that's your problem, right? You need the tea mug. You need a vessel for tea. Um, or maybe it's, you know, you need, you want pink ink. You need a pen. You need something to write your notes with right? That's the problem. And the solution is the pink pen. Your work, while complicated, multifaceted, and focused on serving humans, also needs to be distilled into something that your people can understand. So what problem do you help your people solve? That is literally module one for CEO Enchantress. We're going to take a deep dive into niching into your golden heart. That's week one, the module launched today. Um, if you guys are in CEO Enchantress like Gloria is, you can go grab the module and post in the Facebook group and get feedback on it. But basically, step one to having a successful healing business is creating something amazing that supports your people with a problem that they have. Maybe your people are, you know, women in midlife with anxiety. Maybe they're um, former yoga teachers with sciatica. Maybe they're uh, young men who feel like they don't belong. Whatever it is, and if you're not quite sure, again, I can help you with that in CEO Enchantress, but chances are it might be who you were five or 10 years ago, or it really might come about through working with the people that you think you want to work with and then refining it as you go. Let nothing hold you back from putting out a small program, charging money for it, helping people with it and getting that feedback. Because as a healer, it's that feedback mechanism that's gonna help us have a successful business that lights us up and actually helps other people. My work is informed by you. My work is made better because of feedback from you and it's live feedback right? It's in my coaching, it's okay, let's try this. Let's try that. How do we tweak it? How do we make it work for you? Because everybody has a unique and individual spirit and brain. So we custom craft everything, but it gets to have the framework, right? So create a signature program or service that helps your people with a particular problem that they have. Maybe it's as simple as a phone call, a phone call and a week of WhatsApp support a guided audio meditation, a worksheet, and a 40-minute phone call. You bundle that together, call it $45, $99, $150, and then market and sell the ever-loving bejesus out of it so that your people start to know what you do, who it's for, and why they would want this particular service. Let it be small so that you can tweak it and flex and make bigger, more juicy programs as you go. So step one, create a service package or program that solves a particular unique problem that your specific people have. Step two, build relationships. Almost everything on this planet requires relationships. The relationship of the tree outside my window to the sky, to the water, to the sun, to the roots, to the microbiome in the soil, to the earthworms, to the mushrooms in the soil. It's all connected. It's all social relationship. It's the same with creating an online business. So how do you build social relationships? How are you connecting to people? Yay, Gloria, I'm so glad. How, how do you build social relationships? I generally tell my clients pick one of two major platforms. Some people love TikTok and LinkedIn. Cool, those are good platforms as well, but I usually tell people pick Facebook or Instagram and start to use it. Start to talk about your work. Show behind the scenes of what your office looks like, what your day-to-day -day looks like. Let your sessions with clients inform the content that you share, right? And let it be easy. And that's the hard part. And that's why I'm a business coach. It's not for the strategy. I will give away the strategy in this group all day long. It's for the stuff that comes up as you're doing it, right? Of like, is this the right strategy? Is it working? How do I know if it's working? Who am I talking to? What am I even doing again? Why does this matter? Hold up. All of that is what I can help with. So building social relationships, pick one platform, start to talk, 
start to talk about your work, your sessions. Do you work with deities? Do you work with your own spirit guides? Um, talk about your training and your skills and talk about why you do what you do. Talk about your origin story. So all superheroes have an origin story, how they became who they are. You too have an origin story. What made you do the work that you do? I challenge you to share that post this week. Share your origin story. Why do you do what you do? Post it on Facebook and tag me in it. Or post it here in this group. Tag me in it. What you really want to start to do is create a weave. You're weaving a beautiful tapestry of your work in the world. That's what social media does. If you go out to my Instagram feed, Emily Otto Rebel, you can see literally almost three years worth of consistent content, consistent posting and sharing value, showing up for my expertise, my point of view and what I do. And it creates this weave along with this Facebook group, with my Facebook profile, with my email newsletters, with my website. That's like, oh, there's some meatiness, some toothiness to what I'm crafting. And that's why the practical magic structure is so important. You wanna create a structure where you can share your point of view. That's what I love about social media. And then you weave the threads together and create this magical tapestry of physical reality, 3D reality evidence of, oh, okay, here's why I would wanna work with Emily. Here's what her work is for. Here's what's speaking to me. All right, okay, you're making something. You're literally crafting like a bubble castle, right? You're literally creating your work in the world and you've got these platforms in which to share it on, which is why I love social media. You get to build the case for your work and tell people why they might need it and build those social relationships. Now, there's a hundred different ways to connect with different people. This is where you build your unique strategy. How do you like connecting to people? Do you go to early morning networking events in person? Do you have individual coffee chats with people? Maybe your goal is to have 30 coffee chats a month and network one-on-one -on -one with people. There are folks who have six-figure businesses simply from a referral network. If that lights you up, you get to do it that way. If you would rather do $25 webinars and figure out how to invite people, maybe you host a meetup group. I used to host an in-person meetup group to help people quit their nine to five job and start a business. The most people I ever had at that group was two, but dang it, it felt so cool to actually host a group and to show up at a physical coffee shop and to have people who were interested in talking about this with me when I first started my business, I tried everything. And I think it's important to figure out what do you like? What don't you like? And then you create your unique relationship building strategy from there. How are you connecting to people? How are you talking about your work? How are you talking about why people would want to work with you? Right? So that's part two. Part one, if you missed it and are joining me, say hello. I want to say hi to you. CEO Enchantress closes today at midnight. Get your cute butt in there. I'm not running it again until next year. And it's only $7.77. You can hop in for as low as $111 a month. Come join me. Okay, so step one, create a signature program or service that's unique to you that solves a problem your people have. Step two, build social relationships. Oh, Gloria, so did you have a backup plan on what to work on if no one showed up? Oh, of course, right? Like if nobody showed up to the meetup, so you, the time that you set aside for marketing and for social outreach and for relationships, you want to keep that as your time to network with people and for social relationship building. Don't go and work on your website. Don't go and send out an email sequence unless that's part of your strategy. But if you set aside a block of time, to build relationships with people, keep it that way. So if I didn't have people show up to the meetup, then I would reach out to people. I would build the meetup network. I would put uh, some energy into inviting people to join this group, right? So when you're in the really root stages of building your business, there's a lot of time and energy that goes into social relationship building, connecting with people, Right. And then as you get more and more clients and all of a sudden you have a full caseload, you're like, oh, my gosh, I don't have as much time to market and network anymore. 
but you still want to preserve some blocks of time, right? So that you are always nurturing people that might want to work with you so that you're never at a spot where it's like, oh God, I've ran out of clients. Now what? Okay. So you're starting to layer this in. This is why that weave is so important. Step one, signature service. And I also have a $99 bundle. If you're like, Emily, I love your shit. I can't do another program right now. Grab my $99 bundle on um, creating your signature service. I'm gonna drop that down here. Okay, so either hop in for CEO Enchantress already. Hi, Kathy. Or grab the $99 bundle for creating your signature service in the world. Okay, so create your signature service, build social relationships, do it in a way that lights you up, has you feeling good most of the time and energized and like pulls on things you already love. If you love one-on-one -on -one connection, have a goal of having 30 coffee chats a month, um, post in different groups, 